It's become a symbol of resistance, raising three fingers to the sky, a creative way to defy authorities in a country with stringent restrictions on freedom of expression. Protests have been growing in Bangkok since mid-July, following a number of political scandals, including the forced disbanding of the main opposition party. The leaderless protest movement has two main demands, a shake-up of Thailand's military-dominated government and reforms to the role of the powerful royal family. If we had a good government, a democratic government, our politics, our education and our healthcare system would be better than this. This is our dream and we hope that our dream will come true. Demonstrators want to see the resignation of this man, Prime Minister Prayut chan -Ocha. He's a military man who came to power in 2014 during a coup, then tightening his power in disputed elections this year. I cannot accept a system that is corrupt, but with the last few rallies there was no response from those who hold power. The three core demands were ignored, and even the most basic demand to stop harassing people, the government didn't listen to us. The Prime Minister has slammed the protests as irresponsible, saying they are putting many ties at risk during the coronavirus pandemic. Any major flare-up of infections will lead to terrible consequences and even worse economic destruction, the likes of which we have never seen. The pro-democracy movement is also calling for royal family reform. Criticising the wealthy royal house is taboo in Thailand and can lead to hefty penalties and jail time. Protesters want to see more transparency when it comes to royal affairs. The protest has vowed to last all weekend, with demonstrations continuing throughout the night. For more, let's bring in our correspondent Florian Nush, who is following the story for us in Bangkok. Florian, it's dark now, as we can see. Uh, our protesters still out. Absolutely, and that does not come as a surprise because the uh, organizers had made it clear from the beginning that they would hold a rally that would not only um, you know, be bigger in terms of participants but also bigger in terms of duration. So um, the main speakers are about to get on stage as we speak now, so around 9 o'clock local time here in Bangkok. Um, we have heard some pretty spicy stuff, or I should say dicey stuff already, but as I said, the main acts are still to come and we'll have to uh, wait and see how these protests will uh, unfold even further. Mm. Uh, these people were warned not to protest. What's been the police response so far? The police have actually... Um, remained quite lenient as they have been all through those last weeks. Um, they might have realized that if they were to crack down on those uh, people, on those protesters, they might have an even bigger problem at hand because there are just so many people. Organizers are saying that we actually have reached 100,000 protesters um, by now. And um, so in order to disperse such a crowd, um, this would need massive force and the police have decided not to use that massive force. Now, at the same time, they have said that um, the students have to obey the rules. There has not been any violence yet. But as I said, the main speeches are still to come and those main speeches will deal with the monarchy. And um, by Thai law, criticizing the monarchy um, can land you in jail. So we'll have to see um, if the police will stay lenient as they have been so far. Okay, Florian Nush in Bangkok. Thank you for that update.